Hi friends, it's me, Neve of Radio.co fame, and it's you, viewers of Radio.co fame. Woo! Anyway, today we're going to be doing a linguistic language session on radio terms. From the ancient days of yore, where we had crystal sets and spark thingamajigs, to today's sleek digital streams, Radio Speak has had a wild ride. We're here to uncover the jargon that we use today and find out how they re-entered our vocabulary. We'll look at their origins, how they've evolved and why we use them. This video is made by Radio.co. To start your free Radio.co trial in seconds, head to Radio.co and click on the pricing page. Broadcast. This is obviously a super duper common radio term that we use a lot here at Radio.co. Hello, we host a whole range of broadcasters that broadcast on our platform. So where does this word come from? This word, in fact, originated from broad, so, you know, wide, and cast, as in cast to throw. Back in the old and golden days of radio, signal was thrown over a wide area. Nowadays, the term has expanded to include television, digital media, online radio. But I feel like the modern meaning is kind of the same as the etymology, right? Cast? No? Transmitter slash receiver. Did any of you guys do Latin in school? Anyone? No? Me neither. Anyway, fear not, I will tell you all you need to know about Latin in regards to radio terms. Transmitter. Let's break it down. Trans denotes across or beyond. A mit comes from mitere, meaning to send in Latin. I do hope I pronounced that right. I mean, it's all Greek to me, or should I say Latin? Receiver is derived from receive, which might sound obvious, but what isn't so obvious is that receive is actually a Latin phrase, which I didn't know. Maybe it's obvious. I don't know. Maybe we have more Latin speaking viewers than, than I thought. Prove me wrong in the comments. I don't know. Frequency. Laura Latin today, gang. Oh, Deus meus. The Latin word frequens with the, with the S. It's frequence with an S. Means often. Frequency represents a number of cycles per second per wave. Thus, it reflects how often a signal repeats in a certain given turn. Modulation slash demodulation. Modulation comes from, yes, you guessed it, Latin. Latin, baby. Modulatus meaning measured. Demodulation is its exact opposite. This is extracting the original signal from a modulated carrier. Modem is a portmanteau of modulator, demodulator. That's a lot of words. I'm really impressed I didn't mess that up. In the late 14th century though, the word modulation pops up quite a bit. That was a word used to describe an act of making music. Antenna. Ah, the humble radio antenna. So antenna actually meant sail yard or yard arm. So the term was originally associated with structures that resembled the sails on a ship. So I feel like that makes a lot of sense for bugs and things too, because you know, they have little like that, no? Frequency modulation, FM, and amplitude modulation, AM. So if you're listening and you've been taking notes, then you'll remember that frequency has already been covered and as has modulation. Amplitude, however, refers to the magnitude of a wave. FM and AM denote different methods of encoding information onto different radio signals. FM varies the frequency and AM varies the amplitude. And it just so happens that that word comes from the Latin amplus, large, spacious. So who'd have thought it had come from Latin, eh? That's, that's new. Analog slash digital. Analog signals vary continuously. Digital signals, however, consist of discrete values. Analog comes from the Greek analogous, meaning proportionate. As analog is consistently variable, it makes sense. And if we're really breaking things down, the Greek word logos can be linked to that as well. That word means speech, words, correspondence, but it can also be used to mean proportion. See, everything's rooted in radio. I've been trying to tell you guys that for ages. Digital stems from the Latin word digitus, meaning... Get it? Fingers, 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 digits, digits, you get it? Yeah. And what do you use digits for? Yes, counting. Noise. 
We mean this phrase in the radio sense, you know, radio noise. This word originally meant sound or loud outcry. Thus, it came to represent unwanted random signal interference on radio transmissions. Noise as a word has loads of possible etymological roots. And one of these roots may well be the word nausea, which is a sensation I experience when I hear Nickelback. Sorry, Nickelback. What do you call a Nickelback fan, actually? A Nickelback fan is called a refund. Okay, I take it back. I'm a, I'm a Nickelback stan now. A refund. Legendary. Bandwidth. We've done Latin, we've done math, and now it's time to hit some science. So this is derived from band, which means range. Bandwidth became quite an integral part of scientific terminology in the early 20th century. The word first emerged during experiments in radio communication. Scientists had to delineate specific segments during radio frequencies. These frequency segments resemble bands of different widths, leading to the creation of the term bandwidth. The did, did that make sense to any scientists out there? Anyone? Like, subscribe, smash that bell for notifications, yada yada yada. I'm gonna go search my name up now on ratemyteachers.com. Bye bye And just before you go, have you ever thought about launching your very own internet radio station? Surprisingly, it's a lot easier than you may think, especially when you make the time to chat to myself or a member of the Radio.co team. To do just that, head to our website, radio.co forward slash demo, where I can talk about your plans, any questions you may have, and you know, me and the team can really get you up to speed in launching your own internet radio station in literally minutes. It couldn't be easier. Why not check out some of our webinars, tutorials, help guides situated uh, around me? Or why not visit our website, radio.co, or even drop me an email, studio at radio.co. Until next time, take care and happy broadcasting.